Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Planet X Turning Earth Skies Red and Luminescent. What is really happening? Now, Planet X dust is entering Earth's atmosphere and producing red skies, or sometimes colors in the atmosphere and the ocean, which have never been seen before. These effects seem to be due to cloud formation happening around the dust, which is then often luminescent. There are times, however, when the colors seen are due to the dust absorbing light. And this seems to be how Planet X dust causes artificial illumination of the Earth's atmosphere to cease, as very low energy dust will absorb all light it encounters and will absorb electrons and thus stop electrical conduction in circuits and even the production of a flame. And you may look at Article 467 entitled What Causes the Biblical Plague of Darkness That Can Be Felt. As the dust gains energy, though, through moving through the atmosphere whilst absorbing energy from the Earth's atmosphere, it may then get to the point where it will cause light to be emitted even as it continues to absorb energy, but in a more selective fashion. In other words, Earth matter such as water molecules in the cloud, which has formed around the object or dust, continues to emit light in several wavelengths, but only some of that light is absorbed by the planet X matter, thus allowing the light not being absorbed to be emitted by the cloud. And this seems to be what is occurring here, and this comes from a Mr. MPB333 video. And you can see this cloud that seems very bright, and it's not white. As you can see, there's some yellowish, maybe a slightly peachy color in places. It does seem white in a few spots, but otherwise it's not white. And because it's so bright, it's a luminescent cloud. It's actually emitting light. And so in this case, we have Planet X dust, uh, which absorbs light and energy. And the energy transfer mechanism then results in light emission by the cloud. And below, uh, we have another image. This one comes from Australia from 2009. As you can see, the atmosphere looks very red. And the authorities would uh, say that this is due to a dust storm. But as you can see, this person walking the dog can be seen quite clearly. There does not seem to be any dust. The trees in the background seem to be seen quite clearly as well. Although they're not in the correct color, they're supposed to be green and they look, ra uh, they look red. So that means that the atmosphere is being illuminated by the red color only. So dust in the air, even if red in white light, cannot cause everything to be in a tone of red. So if there is white light illuminating objects, then objects will still have different colors. So green leaves will still look green. So the fact that everything is in a red tone, including leaves which should be green, shows that only red light is illuminating the atmosphere. For more details on this, you may look at Article 448. So what is really happening here? Well, we know that the simulators emit visible light, which is made up of red, green, and blue light. These are the primary colors of light. And for more details, you may look at Article 300, where the additive and the subtractive uh, color theories are explained. It does seem that the green and blue parts of the light emitted by the simulators have been absorbed by the planet X dust. So if the atmosphere were to be the, the same color as usual, where all the colors are uh, available, that is red, blue, and green, so that anything that is blue would reflect blue light, anything that's green reflects green light, and anything that's red uh, reflects red light. But because the blue and the green are not there, there's only red light for objects to reflect, so everything looks red or at least they reflecting the part that they would have reflected anyway, the part of the red spectrum, but the rest is missing. So anything that was purple before, which is a mixture of red and blue, now the blue is missing, so only it can only reflect the red part, so it'll look red. So the dust, therefore, seems to be absorbing the blue and the green. There's only red left. 
So uh, this dust in this case seems to be in the upper atmosphere and as does not reach the surface, which is why visibility close to the surface seems to be good here. Now here's another example also from Australia and here the atmosphere looks yellow. And in this case, visibility is affected. You can see that this bridge is not uh, very clearly seen. It seems to be a bit obscured, so visibility is down. So this suggests that there is actually fog, and fog is cloud that forms around dust. And Planet X dust causes cloud formation to occur around itself. But it's, it's water. In other words, it's condensed water vapor that turns into water droplets. That's what a cloud is. It's not dust, because if it was dust, we would get swirling clouds and we get patches that are darker than others. This is not what we seem to be having here. Also, dust um, does not cause everything to look different or to seem to be illuminated by another color of light than is normal. Uh, dust would just simply obscure parts of the image, but everything else would be a normal color because the white light would still be illuminating the atmosphere. So this seems to be another case where some of the colors are being absorbed. So this fog will be due to cloud forming around planet X dust entering the atmosphere, and since it does not seem to glow brightly, um, this is most likely due to colors of a certain part of the visible light spectrum being absorbed. And if, if that wasn't the case, then the fog would still be there, but it would look white or gray to us. So, because it looks yellow, that means, and yellow is a mixture of green and red, you can see that here, there's the yellow. The yellow occurs where red and green is mixed. So that means that there is red and green in uh, the color that we see here. So the color being absorbed most here is blue. That's the part that is missing then. It's blue and there's some red and green. But because it looks orangey, in other words, there's more red than green, then some of the green is being absorbed as well. And it's just the red that's least absorbed. And that's why it looks orange. Now, since the fog appears to be yellow, which is, uh, as I said, a mixture of green and red, and then, and, and this is why we have some green coming from the pool. Most likely this pool would be a mixture of blue and green, so it will look much bluer. But there is a little bit of green left in the light that is hitting the pool. So that's why it looks slightly green. But it's mostly red, and it seems that Planet X dust absorbs mostly the other colors and red the least. And this is why our skies are turning so red. So in conclusion, Planet X dust starts out at extremely low energy levels, which causes it to absorb all light that falls upon it. But as its energy increases, it absorbs light more selectively. If the dust is strongly absorbing of energy and yet selective as to the wavelength of the light it is absorbing, then this will result in the cloud which has formed around it to become luminescent, i.e. it emits light. And those are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.